cups and balls is basically a trick where you take an object, you place it somewhere, you cover it with a different object, and then with a sleight of hand, it magically disappears. Today we're gonna talk about Three Card Monty, Cups and Balls, the shell game scam. If you know it, you're about to learn something new. And if you have no idea what I'm talking about, pay good attention because this scam happens a lot and I don't want you to fall for it. Now, cups and Balls is a very old trick, one of the oldest in the book. And when I say old, I don't mean 90s, I mean like 15th century. If you look at this painting from Hieronymus Bosch, you can actually see the game portrayed on this painting. And while you're focusing on the game as somebody's being scammed, you maybe didn't realize there's another scam going on in this painting. Look at this guy stealing the money from the other guy that is focusing on the game, yet he's being scammed right behind his back. By the way, for the frequent viewers, maybe you've noticed an owl that is attached to the belt of the scammer. The reason it's in the painting, it's supposed to portrait his smartness, his knowledge, because he knows how to scam people. Now, Cups and Balls has different versions of it. It can be played with cards, three card Monty. It can be played with shells, shell game. But usually you're looking for a specific card or a specific object, but you can never win. It's all in the hands of the scammer. Now we've witnessed it with Honza uh, once we were on a trip in Berlin and we actually confronted the guys. You have sent us videos from all around Europe. We've seen it from London, from Paris, uh, from Venice. And once I actually came across these scammers in North Macedonia, where they were playing on the square. And I was the only tourist there. And they were trying to pull the trick on me. So these guys are playing, I don't know what's it called in English, but the guy in front of me just won like 400 euros. He was like, you gotta try it, it's awesome. I'm like, ah guys, I'm from Eastern Europe. Since it's very hard to come across this cups and balls scam in Prague, we actually found an honest scammer. And that is our friend Jakub. Hi. Hi. And he does know how to do these tricks uh, with the you know, shell game and cups and balls. So I thought you were gonna have cups and balls. What is this? Oh, this is the most fair game what you can play. Okay, beer coasters. Beer coasters, and there is X on one of them. It can't disappear, it's always there. Unlike the ball that can travel, this cannot travel. Okay, that's a fair point, so uh, I guess I'll have to look for it. Not look, but let's play. Uh -huh. Where's X? It is right Can here, you know? and I'm gonna bet my scam of money on it. Are you sure? I'm 100% sure. I'm sorry. I am sorry. <laughs> but you are close. <laughs> Since we refer to this game as a scam when it mm -hmm. happens on the street, yeah. can I win? Is there a chance for me to win? You can't win on the street because it's my business and I want your money. Right, so you're the one who sets the rules for the game. Yes. And you decide if I win or not. You can win when you are playing the game first time, uh -huh. because uh, I can't let you go, and when you wouldn't uh, win first right. time, you, you could go and let me here alone. So when you win once, uh, then you want to win more. So but the next time you will lose. And there's a bunch of videos online where people are actually winning, and there's mm -hmm. a lot of them repeatedly winning, but I suppose those work with the scammer. Yeah, that's team. That's a team. So there's always more people working together. Uh, so when you see people throwing hundreds of euros on a card, on a ball or anything, they're part of the team. They're just winning there to lure you in onto the game. And also there usually are bystanders around. Yes, and when you are walking away, uh, somebody could be behind the corner and uh, the person is waiting for you. If you win to rough you up for the money, huh? Yes. Yes. 
so you're never going to win. It's very dangerous. Okay. But anyhow, uh, not only you have these, which I figured is a sleight of hand that I would never be able to do, mm. but you also have cups, or in this case, uh, bottle caps. Yeah. Right, so we're looking for a coin, 50 euro cents, I see there. 50 euro. It's on the left. And let's play. All right, no fast moves, very slow. It's in the middle. Right, right here in the middle. In the middle? Yeah. Oh, you were really close, but no. Of course I'm close. There's only three choices and they're side by side. How can I be far? Ah, here. Damn you. On the opposite side. But you can play again. 50 cent is here. Ponzo, right. middle. In the middle? Yep. I guess I was close again. Really? You, you, you were. But very far from winning any money. I'm sorry. Yeah, that's all right. You're not because you just won. But it's a fake Belarusian rubles I stole from another scammer. So I guess I just scammed a scammer. Now, Jakub, if I see this game being played or our mm -hmm. viewers see it, should they play? Should they join in? Of course not. <laughs> of course not. Uh, you can watch it, but don't play because you can't win on right. the street. And I would recommend to inform police because that's a legal game. So yeah, not only tell the cops, but maybe also tell the people who would want to play the game that it is impossible to win and they just shouldn't do it. You can just observe, uh, try to figure out uh, who's on the team with the scammer. There's usually a, a few of them because yeah. uh, you told me that you witnessed it yourself in Greece or somewhere. Mm -hmm. And there were, I think, 10 people almost. Involved uh, in, the, in this yeah, one little game. In the little square and they all were team. Do you guys want to play? Let's play. Yeah, come on. Easy game. Now you can bet your money. Again, here. Yeah. Great. <laughs> you won. So, nice. <laughs> great. Let's, let's play again. Yeah, okay. okay. Are you sure? <laughs> yes. Second game. <laughs> <laughs> and you were sure, man. Yeah. You were sure. Do you know this game? Do you guys know it's a scam? Uh, yeah, it's like when you when you take it up, uh -huh. then you can uh, beat this down, the upper one, or the... So you roughly know how it works, yeah, yet you yeah, still yeah, lost. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Now, when I told you that you're not going to come across this scam here in Prague, the cups and balls, I actually wasn't telling the truth. You can see it here in Prague almost every day if you enter this place called the Fun City, full of arcades for kids. And they do have a machine that is specifically doing the cups and balls trick. And nope, you cannot win any money on it. And it is right here, 100 meters from the main square, and it's targeting kids. I mean, what the hell? This trick actually falls into the category called get rich quick. People see it on the street, they see other people winning money and they think to themselves, well, this is easy, I got it all figured out. I know where the ball is and I can win hundreds of euros in the matter of minutes. No, there's no quick way to earn money like that. And if you think there is, think twice, it may be a scam. Does not matter what the game is called, it is always a scam and the scammer is the one controlling it. So don't fall for it. Also, there's never just one scammer playing this. If you look at the pictures or the videos, they're always in a team. Some are for the lookout and some of them even play with the scammer that's controlling the cups so they can win and pretend that you can actually make money on this game to lure other people to play slash lose. Now, the main reason we focused on the cups and balls is because some people performing it also do other scams familiar to us. They usually cheat people with expired Belarusian rubles here in Prague. We actually were sent this picture that is from Budapest 
And in the scammer there that is playing the cups and balls, we recognized a scammer that we know from Prague that cheats with the money. If you enjoyed this video, you can subscribe to our channel and also check out other videos we made, usually regarding Prague and traveling and the beauties of our city, not just scams. So I'll see you here next week on Sunday. And in the end, I'm going to teach you a Czech word. This time it's skořápky, which means shells, because the game we showed you today is usually referred to as skořápky. Skořápky are shells. One shell is skořápka. Policajti to taky rádi hrajou. Jak jako, že to policajti rádi hrajou? My už vlastně 11. rok děláme ples policie České republiky. Ano. S tímto v Liberci a jsme vlastně kromě hudby hradní stráže a policie České republiky hlavní program na tom večírku a všichni se těší na to, že si s námi zahrají skořápky.